I wanted to ask you, um, we've talked a little bit about base loads and the change in, uh, in the utility and, and grid systems in this country. I want to ask you a little bit about grid-tied energy storage. Uh, one, if you could talk a little bit about what some of the uh, uh, some of the places in the budget that focuses on that, the priorities of the department. Um, and two, if I, I wanted to ask you more of a, a policy question of what you see as uh, the greatest impediments to more widespread, uh, widespread and sooner deployment of some of those technologies if you see that just as a cost curve issue or if there are some particular regulatory rate making or other policy issues that we can address that would um, move adoption along at a faster rate. Uh, interesting, yes. Uh, the, so on the storage, uh, well, as you know, actually, as you know uh, uh, Senator Wyden uh, a couple of years ago asked us to do a storage report, which we did, uh, which we are now uh, tr trying to implement uh, in the budget this year. First of all, in the Office of Electricity, uh, we uh, have a 75% uh, in increase uh, in our request. Uh, it's not a huge number. It's uh, $21 million, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but very important both for technology but also for system integration, how would you actually integrate it into the system. Uh, the, we also, of course, not for stationary applications so much, but in the uh, 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 EERE budget, there's also there's about $100 million for uh, battery, uh, battery development there. And there, of course, again, cost reduction has been very, very dramatic. Um, uh, the, uh, uh, in, so cost is certainly an issue. The cost performance curve is, cer is certainly an issue. Uh, I might also add ARPA-E has quite a bit of work in terms of uh, batteries and new chemistries. And of course, we have our hub, uh, at, uh, which, is, which is based out of Argonne, um, uh, which is, I think, doing some terrific work, again, on advanced chemistries uh, for, for uh, uh, low, lowering cost, higher energy density, et cetera. The question, the other question you asked is very interesting, I think, about the regulatory uh, side. Uh, it's not obviously a, a, uh, an authority that we have. Right. Um, uh, it would be FERC and state, and state commissions. But I, I think there's a theme uh, about storage and other aspects in which we still ha don't have regulatory structures that value mm -hmm. Auxiliary services, if you like, right. uh, to the grid, conservation, and, and that's storage, capa capacity yeah. uh, markets, et cetera. Storage is certainly one of them. So I think uh, regulatory design going forward is going to be very, very important, and that would be something between FERC and and the and the states. Uh, and Nehruk is in town next week. You should uh, talk with them. <laughs> we'll, we'll follow up. Thank you very much, Secretary. Great. Thank you.